I've wasted so many hours just trying to replicate the designs that I had in Figma into After Effects because I didn't know any solution to go from one program to the other one seamlessly just with one click or with one plugin just like you do with Adobe XD. And finally I discovered a way to go from Figma to the After Effects with just one plugin. It changed my entire workflow, it saved me a lot of time and I've made a video about it just like one year ago if not more but I saw some comments under that video that said that the entire process wasn't working anymore because of some Figma updates. Uh, so today I want to give you an updated version of this tutorial. Uh, that way you can apply everything in 2024 with the latest Figma updates. Uh, you're not going to have any problems anymore and the entire process is completely free. So let's jump right into it and let's see how it works. Now the very first step that we need to do is to go on the AEX.io website and under the download section you can see that we have uh, Sketch uh, Figma, the download button uh, to, where you can download the entire folder with all the files that we need in order to install the plugin. And by the way, I highly recommend you to download the latest version of the plugin just because in that way you're gonna make sure that the entire plugin is gonna be compatible with the latest version of Figma. The very last thing that we need to do on this website is to go under the install section and under After Effects you can see that we have download ZXP installer which is the program that allows you to install the plugin specifically for After Effects. So just click the link and it's gonna redirect you to the website of the program and based on your machine if you're running macOS or Windows and if you're a designer and you're working on Windows there are some problems guys, there are some problems. I've already downloaded it for macOS uh, and let's jump right into the installation process. Just a quick tip to save you some time in the installation process, uh, make sure to quit After Effects. Now that we are in the download folder and if you're wondering why it is empty, it is simply because I'm trying to declutter my computer from all the unnecessary files that I have uh, that I never use uh, or that are extremely old. I don't even know if you were wondering this thing, but it's. Uh, I think that it is a cool trick to declutter your computer and to work better and faster, so whatever, <laughs> here it is. Back on Tracker we have the files that we've just downloaded and in AEUX you have all the files for the plugin, AEUX, Figma Sketch, everything is perfectly dissected for you. The first step is to install the ZXP installer just to next install the plugin for After Effects, double click on it if I can, just drag the program in the application folder and your entire program is installed. I love macOS it is because it's super easy guys. I don't even know why people hate it to be honest but whatever, preferences. Next step is to open ZXP installer, make sure again that After Effects is not open on your computer, go in the After Effects folder and you can see that we have a ZXP file, drag it into the program and you're gonna see that the plugin is gonna be installed on your, on your After Effects. Super easy, straightforward, just two seconds. Now that we have finished with After Effects, it's time to move on with Figma and just click on the menu icon on the top left corner, pl under plugins, development, and you can see that we have an import plugin from manifest and don't worry that we have all the files necessary because uh, in the AEUX folder again uh, instead of you clicking on After Effects uh, just click on Figma and you can see that we have this manifest.json file uh, just click on it and the entire plugin is going to be ready to use uh, in Figma and this plugin is also super easy to use guys I can't stress this enough but it saved me a lot of time so let's let's see how it works instead of talking and rambling around, just click a frame in your composition, in your Figma file, and this plugin only works with frames, so select your frame, right click, plugin, you can see that we have the development section again, click on AEUX and you can see that we have these three buttons, usually I only use send selection to After Effects, click the button and select a location for your files and your assets because you need to save the assets in order to link everything from Figma to After Effects. So for the moment I just use Dexo because I'm a good designer and I only use the desktop for my projects and my files. And as you can see guys, we have everything set up in a matter of seconds in After Effects so with all the layers, so selectable layers that you can animate, you can do whatever you want, you can move them. Basically you have an entire After Effects project for you to animate. It required one second guys, so one second, one click. <laughs> my mind is blown away because I used to waste a lot of time. I would definitely throw myself out of the window if I had to go back doing everything by hand, step by step, pixel by pixel, element by element, replicating everything. It required me hours. Now, as you can see, super easy. One click, one plugin, everything set up. 
and you're good to go. Now I wanted to give you an updated version of the entire process uh, and to show you that actually this plugin works uh, with the latest version of Figma because next week I'm gonna I wanna show you how to recreate an award-winning scroll interaction uh, in After Effects uh, and this plugin is gonna come in handy if you, to just to straightforward the entire process of creating the design in Figma and moving it into After Effects uh, so you can focus just uh, on the animation side of things. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe guys <laughs> and leave a comment down below if the entire process is super helpful for you. If it's changed your entire process, because at least for me, it was a game changer at the time that I discovered it. It saved me a lot of time. So let me know in the comments down below if you knew this plugin. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel again, and I'll see you in the next one. Go! I hope that I've explained everything in a super clear way.